still on the table all the theories everything is right there for the taking um yeah super cool uh can't believe we're 24 hours away from mando now it's looking more and more like episode one is only going to be a half an hour slightly disappointed in that but hopefully uh, we'll get run longer run time run times going into uh, the season i believe our boy rick is directing episode one or yeah episode one and seven and eight i think i just read that so that's super cool um i like rick i love what he does and what he has done in book of boba and um and the Mando. So, um, we are looking at In the Name of Honor, Chapter 7 of Book of Boba Fett. Hey, guess what? It has Boba Fett in it. This is great. Um, so, essentially, we got the bombing of um, the Sanctuary. Uh, rest in peace, Gasa. I will miss her dearly. But I believe Max Rebu lives. The legend continues. The king will return soon enough. Um, but we have essentially everybody coming in the front. We got the piggies. We got the mods. We got Kirstanton. We got Boba and Fennec and Mando all coming in the front. It's all going to be good. Um, it doesn't go good. The pikes have essentially also you know they got the qualish we got the tershendons and then we got the Kalationians or whatever and they all jumped them piggy's death is the worst I miss my piggies um at the same time x-wing comes in our favorite mechanic gets baby yoda Grogu's in the house, eating a little worms for dinner, a little snacky. Uh, they go looking for Mando. Uh, we have Cad Bane calling him out. And uh, Fennec's like, yo, 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 you'll get your time. Don't worry about it. Freetown boys come. Mando and Boba take a stand. They're flying around, killing pikes using all our gadgets. It's a great little battle. Uh, that's when the Freetown boys show up. Chrysanthemum manages to survive the Trishendans. He comes back. They're all taking a stand. And then we got these, I forget what they're actually called. I forget the class, but they're pretty much Droidicas 4.0 or whatever. And they got shields and yeah, they're just tearing up everybody, and uh, it's not good. It is actually something, if I remember correctly, it's an unused sketch uh, from the prequels, which is kind of cool. But, um, yeah, so they're trying to battle these things, and it's not good. Uh, and Mando busts out the, the dark saber. It don't work on the shields. What whatever i don't know i thought dark saber was mythical um but boba's like yo i'll be back um he grabs rancor so we got boba on a rancor this is a fantastic scene rancor is fantastic rancor is like so good so good um our favorite mechanic Pelly shows up with a little ricochet droid which again is another nod to 
attack on clones when we have the Ricochet droid with Padme and again when they go visit Watto. I mean, everything's connected. Just how it is, man. Um, and so that was super cool. Um, but then she tries to find Mando, finds Mando. Kids there, Gro- baby Grogu jumps into Mando. You can see he's got his little chainmail. This is all good. It's great. Everything's great. But they're in pretty much a pickle. Um, the Rancor tears through all the droids. Then, for a reason, he's a, uh, Bobo, go- Bobo gets um, tossed. And now he's kind of doing a little Godzilla. Well, actually, more like a King Kong type thing. He comes to the tower. The Freetown folks are shooting him. Mando's like, don't do that. And Mando gets in a pickle. And here comes Grogu. Uh, everybody's super scared. and But Grogu does his little slow walk like a little cowboy. And um, makes Rancor calm down. And they take a nap. I mean... Both Trent and Ellie just love the scene. It's cute, adorable, at the same time powerful that, you know, Grogu can handle his own. But there's a sense sense of childlike innocence with this whole thing. It just all works really well. Take a little nap, get a little nuggies later. It's all good, man. This is just super, super cool. The whole Rancor scenes are great. Um... Cad Bane is back after the little standoff. Didn't go well. Boba and Cad have their um, little standoff, a little western. Um, obviously, Cad still got the upper hand, but um, then Cad kind of goes for the family and just he's coming soft and all this stuff. And that's when he Boba goes in full Tuscan. And destroys Cad. Now, Ellie makes a good point. When we were watching, she's like, he doesn't have a hole in his chest. So, it's not really a hole in his chest. I don't know what's happening. Maybe he's alive. Maybe he's dead. I think he's dead, dead. But it was good seeing a live-action Cad Bane. Boba gets the upper hand. Everybody's beat up. Um, But... They get to save the day. And so, hooray, it's great, everything's great. Um, Boba walks around town as they start rebuilding. Everyone's bowing for him, and then he's like, I don't know if this is for us. So this is where I get a little problems with Boba Fett. It's just like, he was supposed to be this protector, this kind of feudal lord over Tatooine. And he finally gets that spot. And he's like, yeah, I don't know if we're cut out for this, you know. And um, it's just a weird spot. It's like, well, again, or should we be cheering for him? Should we be mad at him? All those things. I don't know. But we know Mando and uh, Baby Grugu are united. And um, one of the things that happens during this fight, he has the little silver ball from the Razor Crest, that's literally the only thing he has left from the Razor Crest. Gives it to Grogu, he keeps it, and then we get the scene where now Grogu is in the droid spot with a canopy and the N1 Starfighter, and he keeps on banging on the window, and Mando's like, no, we're done. And he keeps on banging, banging, banging. And he's finally, okay, we'll do it. Hits the sublight drives and they fly and Baby Yoda's happy. Everyone's happy. It's a great way to end it. And uh, and then obviously we got a little cameo. At, well, not really cameo, but uh, Cobb Vanth is in Boba's little Bacta tank. So Cobb Vanth survives. Hooray! And that's how this ends. That's it. Um, so I did a little research. It's it's about a year or so between when Mando 
and Grogu leave, uh, you know, uh, each other, essentially when Luke rescues him, it's about a year. So I guess that's good. It just seems so fast. It seems like I said, these last three episodes are really Mando focused and not Boba Fett focused, which I feel like if they're going to do this kind of episodic thing, I mean, they should give a little couple more episodes to Boba and squeeze in this kind of Boba Fett and Friends thing and stuff like that. But overall, super excited, super excited for Wednesday. You should be too. Even if it's a half an hour, it's half an hour more Mando that we didn't get before. So super excited for it. It should be fun. Enjoy responsibly. Um, I hope you enjoyed these bonus episodes. We love doing them. Uh, Love revisiting Star Wars content. It's great. And so um, here we go. 24 hours. The Mando. Enjoy. May the Force be with you always. Peace.